Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look at Dataverse and Power Automate. So we'll be creating a quick flow where whatever gets changed into the Dataverse table will be notifying users about that change. So I will start with a quick introduction of Dataverse and then we'll jump into Power Automate, how we can integrate and what uh, trigger we are going to use. So I have just opened that uh, make.powerapps.com and over here you can see I have this Dataverse option. So what is Dataverse? So Dataverse actually provides a central repository for business data where we can just uh, store our data and manage data in a secure fashion. So it's uh, nothing but a uh, sort of database only where all the operations and all the uh, data would be stored stored at the cloud level so we need not to take care about like at the back end where actually the storage is happening we would be just or the business uh, needs to just focus on the managing and storing the data and uh, applying the business rules based on whatever the requirement of the project need is so you can see i have this environment so actually Every data horse is linked up with one environment. So whenever I would like to create an environment, so let's say it's a regional based environment for US or for EMEA region, then I would be creating one environment. So every environment would be provisioned with one data, data horse and uh, that uh, data horse would enable us to use that database. So database is a collection of tables which we would be having in our data horse. So I'll be talking about these tables so we'll be creating one custom table so before that like I would like to tell you like what type of table Dataverse provides us so it's uh, two type of table we can get that is one standard standard table is nothing but whatever is being provisioned automatically by Dataverse for example this account address all these tables are provisioned automatically so whenever we create an environment and we goes to that Dataverse tables and the other one is complex tables. So complex tables are nothing but custom tables where we can have our own custom columns. We can define our rules and we can also like add up the custom columns to these standard tables also. But uh, we would not able to delete the columns which are already in existence with these tables. So we can add up our own custom columns and have our uh, custom business rules on top of it. So as I said, uh, all the environments are linked up with uh, one dataverse or vice versa dataverse is linked up with one environment so you can uh, manage the uh, security roles or the uh, setting uh, or the permission settings via this admin center so i can just quickly open that too so that you can have a look so i have just opened this power admin center where based on the environment you would able to see all the uh, dataverse instances and you would able to manage the data for those instances so if i click on this my xmt environment so you can see like at the environment level i can manage the security role permissions and if i go to the security roles so all these are my existing roles i can have a new role created so let me just click on any of the existing role so you can see i have this existing role if i just say add a people i could add a people to this role and if i just go back to the security role if i just click on this edit it will give me a overview like what uh, core records or that uh, objects is tied up with so it's tied up with nothing over here so i can tie up this uh, i mean like this uh, security role with this objects so these are just tables or the record tables which are then which we would be using in our dataverse so that's that's how like uh, we manage the authorization of these records so I hope uh, you must have got a brief idea like what Dataverse is and how we can uh, manage our Dataverse. So the objective of this session would be like tying up the Dataverse with Power Automate. So I'll be just using, let me just, I'll be just creating one custom table. So let's say the table is products table. <clears throat> and when I create this table, so I have an option of creating multiple columns for it so I can just add up the columns so let me just prod the one is already named so I can say product type and I can define the data types for this so I'm just saying done 
So you can see like with the, that custom column, I have like few other columns get provisioned automatically. So these are standard columns, uh, which are, which would always be there with any other tables. So under this, you can see relationship. If I would be having multiple tables and would like to uh, set up relationship, then I can do this via this. I can set up, I have one to many relationship, many to one relationship with any of the existing tables. I can define the business rules. So the objective is not to like uh, go through each and every uh, of these tabs, but uh, have this integrated with Power Automate. So I directly comes to this data part. Uh, let me just create a new uh, record. So I'll just save a table before doing that so that it allows me to create a record. So what, for creating record, I can use this form to fill out. So just added myself to that security role where I can just update that data. So now I can just create a new product. So let's say product one and I'm saving and closing it. So I can see one data, one record or the row should be there inside this table. All right. So I have this product one. So now I'll be going to my power automate and I'll be objective as I said initially the objective is like whenever something gets changed into my this custom table I would like to notify a few set of people in teams or over the email that the project the new product is now available in this list so that sort of integration we are going to do with power automate so I'll be just click creating one instant cloud flow and this instance cloud flow the trigger which I am going to use is whenever an item or the record is added to Dataverse. So you can directly click on this Dataverse connector. It will give you all the available triggers. So I'm using when a row is added. <clears throat> so from over here, you can find the trigger type. So I can say added or modified. So let's say I'm choosing added modified. Even I can choose added or modified deleted so that I can case, I can build a case like switch case if added, then it should be done. If modified, then this step should be executed. So sort of that. So for now, I'm just uh, doing this added or modified. Now I'll pick up one table name, which we just created. So I should find that table because it's in the same environment. So my table should be there. All right. So I have this, my product table. And now I need to specify the trigger. So which type of trigger should be there? So the scope is defined by business unit, organization, parent and user. So what that means is business unit. If anyone in your business unit or like provided security role is adding that record, then it will trigger it. And what organization scope is like if anyone in your organization, irrespective of the business unit or the security role provided, if that person is adding, then it will trigger. Uh, this flow and parent child business unit that means like anyone <coughs> uh, in your business unit having sp specific rights on this uh, table would able to trigger this one and for user like if you are user then, then uh, only your records if you are the owner of the record then only your records would be triggered from from this scope so I would be just choosing the organization one so if anyone in my organization triggers or add the rate, uh, row in that uh, table. So based on that step, I would be just going for my MS team message because I would like to drop a message into my teams <coughs> that uh, that this uh, item has been added or the row had, has been added. So you can pick like it should be by user or flow block bot. So you can pick anyone. And post in, I would say like channel because I would be having my specific channel for that specific data uh, words. Let's say my this company channel and I'll be choosing my this, let's say projects and message. I can say a uh, new row added by so you can just pick the person who modified it. Or, or you can also like pick title of that record 
so i can say like name or the product product name you can just pick that from name and if you save it <coughs> and if you just go back and create a record inside my product table then it should trigger so let's say it's a laptop by hp so it's a product so if I'm just saving and close, so it should trigger my this flow. I'll just go to my flow to check. So my flow got succeed. And whenever this item was created, it must have posted the chat into my teams. So it was under project. So now you can see it to its Vishnu Sharma via power automate because we chose flow flow bot and it uh, said me that new row added by and product name laptop by hp is a name so that's how you can integrate your this uh, data was tables with power automate so you can notify you can post a message you can send an email with this connector so in next session i will be creating one approval flow on these tables so i'll just create one the fl uh, approval flow which would be triggered whenever an item is submitted for an approval so we'll be having that flow in my next session so wait for that so that's it for today i hope if you like the video then please do subscribe and drop your comments thank you